Once upon a time, there was a young boy who lived with his mother. All of his friends had a grandmother, but he did not. This made him very sad. One day, he saw an old woman by the side of the road. She was very dirty, and her clothes were full of holes. Her hair was also dirty, and it was full of leaves and sticks. But she was singing and smiling. Will you be my grandmother? the boy asked. The old woman smiled at him. I would love to be your grandmother, she said. And so they returned to the boy's house. His mother gave the old woman some dinner and new clothes. Then the old woman took a bath and washed her hair. She took all the leaves and sticks from her hair and put them in a box. She told the boy to make a hole in the ground and put the box inside. Then she told him to build a small boat and put it in the hole with the box. Now cover the hole so no one can find it, said his grandmother. The boy did as his grandmother told him, but he asked, Why, grandmother? You will need them in the great storm, she said. Just wait. Weeks passed. Then one day, it began to rain. It rained very hard. The streets were full of water. Get the box and the boat, the grandmother told the boy. Soon the water will be everywhere. The boy got the box and the boat from the hole. When he opened the box, he saw that the sticks and leaves were gone. The box was full of gold, and the boat began to grow bigger and bigger as the water went higher and higher. Soon the boat was big enough for the boy, his mother, and grandmother. Still, it got bigger and bigger. Invite all the animals onto the boat, said his grandmother. Help the dogs, cats, birds, and bees. But don't help any men onto the boat. The boy saw a cat high in a tree. Come onto our boat, he said to the cat. So the cat jumped onto the boat. He saw a dog swimming in the water. Come on to our boat, he said to the dog. So the dog jumped onto the boat. And then the boy invited a mouse, some birds, and then some bees. Soon the boat was full of animals. Then he saw a man in the water. Help me, the man cried. The boy remembered his grandmother's words, but he did not want the man to die. So he let the man come onto the boat. When the storm was over, the boat became small again. All the animals thanked the boy, and they went back to their homes. But the man saw the gold in the box, and he wanted it for himself. So the man went to the king. The gold is mine, he told the king. The boy and his mother took it from me. The king believed the man, and he put the boy and his mother in prison. They were cold and hungry, but soon some mice came to the prison. We will help you, said the mice. They used their teeth to make a hole in the prison wall. Then a dog and cat came to the prison. We will help you, they said. They carried food and blankets through the hole. And then some birds came to the prison. We will help you, said the birds. 
and they carried a letter to the king. The letter told the story of the boy, the boat, and the man who took the gold. When the king heard the story, he let the boy and his mother out of prison, and he put the man in prison instead. The king gave the gold back to the boy. A few years passed, and the young boy became a young man. The king's daughter, the princess, was ready to marry. The king wanted his daughter to marry someone very clever. He decided to have a contest. He hid his daughter in her carriage. The carriage was in front of the palace, but there were hundreds of other carriages, too. All of the carriages looked the same. The man who can find my daughter will be her husband, said the king. Every day the princess waited in her carriage. Many young men tried to find princess, but no one could. The princess stayed in her carriage. The young man decided to try. He walked around all of the carriages. He was not sure. Then suddenly, he saw hundreds of bees flying around one of the carriages. That's the one, he cried. And it was. The young man and the princess were married and they lived happily ever after.